Hello, in this video I just wanted to go over a small example JVL mod that I put together. Ultimately, this code results in adding two new items to the game based on a JSON configuration, a sword copy called Funky Sword and some new jam. These recipes will be able to be created at the workbench and cauldron respectively. Additionally, it adds some fire damage to the Funky Sword and it makes it drop with a 100% chance from the skeletons in the game. To give a little background, I had a friend in the community who initially made a configuration to work with Honey Plus, but wanted to expand on the functionality of some of the recipes he was adding, while still being compatible with the same configurations. So, this is an example of one way to achieve that with JVL. This is going to be a bit of a code-heavy video, but I've also linked the repository in the description with some descriptive comments if you just prefer to explore it that way. To get started, the core method of getting anything into the game with JVL is to load in an asset bundle or bundles, use the prefabs to create whatever recipes or items that you want in the game, and then unload the asset bundles. After that, we can hook into events to manipulate the new items as well as any vanilla prefabs. The core flow of this mod is shown here in the awake function. Looking at the load asset bundle method, we can see that getting your bundle into the game is now very quick and simple with the JVL. We have an embedded test bundle here that contains our items. If you're not familiar with creating asset bundles, I'll link a guide below. We load that in using JVL's asset utils functionality. You'll see that we also have a method here to unload the bundle once we are done with it. After the bundle is loaded, we move on to the add recipes method. To help with this, I have added the concept of an extended recipe, which is all of the data needed to create custom items in JVL, with some additional fields used for manipulating the prefabs and some of their data. If you look at the extended recipe model, you'll see that it is very similar to the Honey Plus configuration, meaning that it will function with those configs. If you didn't use Honey Plus previously, you can still make configs specifically for this approach without needing to know anything about the previous setup. The model also contains methods to convert the configs into those necessary for use with the JVL tool. You could do this with an external handler if you wanted to, but I prefer to include my conversion methods within the models. If we look at recipes.json, we can see that there are two configs for the items that we are loading. One for the funky sword, and one for the test jam, which are created at the workbench and the cauldron, respectively. In order to get the recipe configs into our project, we need to deserialize the JSON text into a list of extended recipes. To do that, I've added a new class called Extended Recipe Manager with a new method called Load Recipes from JSON. You pass the path relative to this project into this method, and it will give you a list of extended recipes. If we look inside this class, we can see that first we use assetutils.loadText to get the text. And then we use simple JSON to deserialize the list of extended recipes. Simple JSON is a basic JSON deserializer included with JVL. Returning to the main mod, you'll see that each recipe is passed through a series of steps. First, the prefab is pulled out of the embedded resource bundle by path, which is a base unity path combined with the item name. In our case, this path in Unity is assets slash prefabs, but you could use any path within the Unity directory structure and achieve similar results. Next, we create a JVL custom item from the prefab. We edit the item drop with our extended recipe data and provide localizations using the localization manager. You don't have to do this if you prefer to just set the name and description directly, 
but it allows for adaption to other languages in the future if you want to provide that functionality. Finally, we set the recipe for the item using our conversion method and add the item to the item manager. After this, all of the items in the recipe configuration will be in game. To show one more concept, I have also added an event handler on the on prefabs registered event. This triggers after all of the prefabs are loaded in game and provides a convenient place for us to manipulate them and their relationships. To show how to do that, we load the funky sword prefab, make sure it is not null, and then make a couple changes. First, we look into the item drop and add a thousand fire damage to the damages list. Then we load the skeleton and get its character drop and add the funky sword into the skeleton's drop list. Before going in game, I just want to talk a little bit about how the build script has been edited to copy the config file over to your plugin install. So this assets folder, uh, it is copied every time the project builds and will need to be included alongside the mod. But if we go inside, we'll see that the JSON file is actually installed with the mod. So if your users wanted to edit any of the names of your items or um, anything that you put into the extended configurations, they could do this after downloading the mod. So just a little bit of a convenience there. In game, I am first going to spawn a skeleton and show that it drops our new sword. You'll see that the sword is named correctly, and if we pick it up, it has a thousand fire damage applied to it. If we move over to the workbench in Cauldron, we can look inside each and see that the funky sword has a recipe here that matches our recipe config. And in the cauldron, our test jam also has a recipe that matches what we would expect. Anyway, I know this doesn't show the full depth of JVL's functionality, but hopefully it is a good starting point for making mods that need these approaches. The community member that I worked with on this is Zethan64, and I'll link his Nexus profile and his mod that expanded on this code below. He was a great help in testing this setup and also assisted in creating the prefabs used in the asset bundle. So please check out his work as well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll answer them the best I can. I've been working on a pretty cool mod recently with a different community member, so expect to see a beta for that pretty soon. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.